Hey, what's up? It's the Kid 50 Cent, and you're now watching my new video right here for my video game, Blood and Sand. This is more than rap, it's more than a track. I was really involved with the process of making this actual game. Early on, we went and sat down, they showed me stills where they can actually make the environment look that way, and I had my own ideas and input. The way it actually operates, the things that are actually happening, is, it feels like a virtual action film, like where you get a chance to be in the film yourself, playing as 50 Cent or as Tony Ayo or as Tory Banks or DJ Who Can. 50 Cent Blood on the Sand has been in development for about 19 months now. We've had 70 developers working on this, you know, working their guts out to deliver this title. We listened to the gamers' feedback, what they didn't like about the first title. We paid attention to the fans' feedback, what they did like about the first title. And we brought all of that together in the package that's 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. It's a very different game from the first one. Our story's been written by Cameron Pashar. Cameron Pashar is a producer for Bionic Woman and was one of the writers on Sleeper Cell. And we're taking 50 Cent out of the familiar and putting him in the unfamiliar. 50 Cent's gone to this fictional country to perform a concert. He's been promised $10 million in payment. And he gets to the end of the gig and him and the G-Unit crew go to collect payments. But it's not there, the concert promoter stiffed them. So they take payments in kind, the diamond encrusted skull. On the way back to the airport, their, their convoys hijacked to the local crime lord, side from out and his henchwoman Layla. And that cues his explosive journey across this country to recover the skull. Early on in development, 50 Cent took a look at the game over in Los Angeles and said, you know, I really love what you're doing. I love the gunplay, but I want more. You know, I want more for the gamer. I want driving, I want flying. When we found out it was going to be a 50 Cent game, it made us want to kick it up a gear. The opportunity to give his fans something they weren't expecting in terms of quality. It's high octane, big action. Yeah, the set pieces were an important part of that. What the gamers can expect when they play this game is an art which takes them on a journey. It takes them from the familiar to something which is much more remote, much more exotic. You kind of recognize that it's had wave after wave of occupiers, a city which is kind of like built up over time. So there's a lot of unique levels in 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. So the game contains two distinct locations, one city-based and uh, one based up in the mountains. But we, within each of those, there's a number of sub-locations. Each one of those sort of realised to create an individual mission. The level is all about giving the player opportunities to score and string together you know, cool kills, explosions, destruction. Our explosions and our particle effects and our environmental effects are absolutely cutting edge. We use fire an awful lot, so one of the things that we had to do is write particular technology to handle that fire. Many games have done fire, but we had so much of it in this, we thought we had to push it a little bit further. It's a very dynamic environment. There's a lot of set pieces going off and with floors collapsing underneath you. It's really something that players react to on a moment by moment basis. It's not just a game, it's also a package as well because we actually have the videos and the music in there. So it's, it's just a whole bunch of entertainment. Like you got hit music from the Curtis album, which was my last album. And that's with me and Justin Timberlake, me and Robin Thicke, me and Mary J. Blige, me and Akon, me and Dr. Dre, uh, me and Eminem. Hit music for the last five years is optional for them to play. There's 40 tracks on there, and then 19 of them are brand new that they can hear new material. This is a huge amount of content, well over an album's worth of, of tracks that you'll have never heard before and can't get anywhere else apart from 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. 50 Cent Blood on the Sand is a third-person cover shooter, and the features we're majoring on are the gunplay, the ballistic weapons, and there's 24 of those. We had to have weapons that were realistic. We certainly used existing weapons as a, a baseline and we looked at what was available. And then what we were looking for is a balance of weapons that gave you different attributes. In the game we have four different categories. We have pistols, close quarters weapons which are shotguns and SMGs. We have assault weapons which are assault rifles and large machine guns and special weapons which are sniper rifles and rocket launchers. There's two driving sequences where if you're playing with 50 cents, you drive a vehicle and the AI takes control of the gun. In the online game, you, you play as 50 cents still, but your buddy plays as the gunner. There are the flying sequences where you both man guns in a, in a helicopter of gunship flying over the mountains of the fictional country. Throughout the game there's, there's money you can pick up off killing enemies and around the environment. When you pick money up, you can then buy upgrades for all of these categories of weapons. And each of the, the weapons are significantly more powerful. Towards the end of the game, the enemies become more difficult to kill as well, and you really need to be upgrading your weapons to be competitive against them. But this really beautiful cover system in the game where you can take cover, you can vault cover, you can dramatically move into cover and move between cover. 
any object in our game that you, that you could physically get behind could be used as cover. Really, the cover's there for you to recover your health, but we didn't really want a game where you're spending all your time hiding behind cover and sniping out from behind it. So there's a lot of points rewards for getting out and getting in the faces of your enemies. So when we first started developing this title, we knew one of the things we wanted to major on was the multiplayer to support this idea of 50 Cent working with his crew. So at any time in the game, when you're playing as a single player, you've got one of the G unit with you. You've got either Tony Yeo, Lloyd Bang, DJ Kid alongside you, running, gunning, supporting you. If you're showing your status to the online world, then other people can come and join your game, and that character skin will be hot swapped out to the character skin that they select. So in so many ways, 50 Cent Blood on the Sand really plays to what this license is all about. The arcade action, the collaboration between 50 Cent and the G-Unit characters. We wanted the players, rather than hiding behind cover all the time, we wanted them to be getting out and really getting in the face of their enemies. So we have a counter-kill system where you close to melee range with an enemy, you can perform a special move on them from a whole palette that we've created of very violent, very interesting special moves. Moves may have between three and five stages until it's complete. By completing the move, you kill the enemy. It's a guaranteed kill 100% of the time. If you succeed in this, you'll kill your enemy and you'll get a huge score bonus. If you fail the move, you get knocked back and the enemies get a chance to melee you. You start the game with five counter kills. As you progress through the game and as you earn loot, you can buy new counter kills from the shop, up to a maximum of 20. You earn points by shooting targets by destroying objects in the game world. But the major points come from killing people. That gets modified by what sort of person they were, how you killed them, for blowing them up, for being low on health, for not being in cover. By chaining kills, you score combo points. And so let's say, for example, you get two guys with a headshot, you then close ground and kill someone with a counter kill. All within a specified time limit, you'll get many more points than if you just kill three people individually. And if you complete it with certain scores, you'll unlock exclusive 50 cent tracks, stills, videos, and right at the end, once you've got all of the levels and all of the paths unlocked, you start getting cheat modes that will give you invulnerability and infinite ammo. These points are fed into leaderboards. So you've got bragging rights, you've got comparison rights against everyone else on the World Wide Web, and this massive arcade experience that we've built, it makes it so rewarding and enjoyable to play this game. Remember Shinobi? Remember Super Sprint? Commando? In the Street Fighter being a pizza shop? NBA Jam. That used to be like the joint right there. Hey, yo, what up, man? You know who it is, man. The P.O.K., man. Your boy, Lloyd Banks. And it's the talk of New York, Tony Yayo. Now, I'm a gamer. What? It's an addiction to me. Like, when you get a new game, like, you know how it is when you get a new game, bro. Like, As you see, I ain't even played it yet. You can't play a game, you too gangster. Yeah, right? I mean, we can't for me. The game is hell, man. Who kids in it too? Our DJ. What is a tour bus without games? Remember back in the days when we used to play Nintendo and Genesis and all that? Come on, man. We remember that. Nintendo blowing up. How you ain't gotta do that no more, man? So when you see the graphics today and now, and duck hunting and all that. <laughs> to now, come on, bro. Back in the days, the arcade. Had the graphics that you was looking for like this. But now, you got it right there. You got it in your crib. The same thing you could do in the arcade, you would find the same kind of graphics in your home now. Yeah, that's, your like, that's what amazes me about video games. You're seeing a transition of graphics, bro. It actually looks just like them. Nah, they, yeah. Because they take the pictures, look. Like when you're going to choose a character, oh, you can see, like, that's all my actual, that's my actual tattoo. Tattoos, bracelets, everything. Yeah, that's jewelry. You gotta put the it tattoos, on. man. It's crazy. Look. That's this arm right here. See the weed leaves all over the place? Money sign right there, that's me right yeah, there. On his neck. Tattoos. That's him down to the key. I think the best thing is you can be whoever you want to be out the group. That's the coolest thing to me, but just to have Lloyd Banks, Tony A.O. 50 Cent, who kid in the game, where you can be any of us. That's big to me, because I remember not having nothing. But this is incredible, man. It's, it's a brand new year, you know, a lot of new energy, new albums, new mixtapes, new you know, new video games, and we're just taking it to the next level. Like you said, they got like helicopters and different things and different killer moves that I cannot execute yet, so don't feel bad if you can execute them in your first couple <laughs> times playing. But after you get the hang of it, you know, in no time, you'll be breaking neck, spines, chopping up, it's crazy. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> you'll be an official killer in a, in a little while. You know, so that's just kind of fun, man, because you see a lot of personality come out of each character. 
you know, so who cared when, when somebody shoot that who kid, he's like, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? I don't think I really say whoa, you know what I mean? You want to get it done right. So you going to fuck you, you up. You got to do each line two or three times as long as you get it the right way. Because at the end of the day, when somebody's playing the game, that's the way they want They want to feel how you feel. So if somebody just shot a rocket at you, you want to say, oh, oh shit. God. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're not going to be like, oh, snap. You know what I mean? Some things are just called for a certain terminology. Fuck all you. I'm really, like, excited. He's excited. 50's excited. The game is crazy. You need it in your life. Go pick it up. Xbox. Get a couple. PlayStation 3. Whatever system you have, go pick it up. Blood in the Sand. It's coming February. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, it has better graphics. It has me in it. It has Lloyd Banks in it. Damn, look at that ice, man. Blood in the Sand. Hey, Eminem, buy this for your kids, too, man. City Scent. Blood on the Sand. Get one for your house, get one for your mistress' house. You know, you I'm gonna have one of my cars too. You gotta keep that in the truck. Yeah, you one at your mother house. Yeah. Let us see how yeah. they do us. As I gotta wait. We can't, we like can't even steal our own copy. See that? They smart we though. Whoever came up with that idea was fucked. Nah, this Pick is it up, hot, baby. Man.